Every time a heatwave occurs, what we're going to see is more hospitalizations and people who are actually dying as a result of these types of events also goes up. We know that from the 2003 heatwave, uh, 70,000 people died from that event alone throughout Europe. France was among the worst affected countries. More than 15,000 people were killed by heat exhaustion, dehydration and heat stroke. In Paris alone, 3,000 people died in just one night, leaving morgues overflowing. The fact is, northern European cities are not built for this kind of heat. They were designed for a kinder climate. Now, why have you brought me here, Maria? This is a narrow street that gets the solar radiation during the day. Professor Maria Colacatroni studies how cities and their inhabitants react to heat. The heat, it cannot escape to the sky during the night because of the geometry of the street, and so it elevates the temperature. It never cools. It never cools. Using monitors at 80 locations around London, Maria has measured temperatures over 18 months to produce a groundbreaking study revealing there are super hot spots. Additional warmth leads to what are known as heat islands, areas where temperatures can be 15 Celsius higher than elsewhere in the city. Not all buildings behave in the same way, do they, when it comes to heat? No, they don't, especially the facade of the buildings. For example, here we've got two buildings. One is painted white and the other is uh, dark brick. And I've got an infrared thermometer here. So if I go uh, and measure the white one here, we got let's say 32, 32 degrees, 32, 32 yeah. degrees Celsius. But if we go now to the dark surface, yeah. wow. you can see it's 47 and going up again. I mean, that's hot. That's hot to the touch. And yeah, absolutely tell the difference there. You fry an egg on that one. I'm guessing the solution isn't for everybody to go out and fit air conditioning on the street. Absolutely not. You can feel it's warm, and can't you? you can feel that it is quite warm. So there we are. We've broken 40. Yes. And of course, all this heat is just being dumped out onto the street. It's that been... already has a problem with trying to get rid of its heat. Yes. Compared to the rest of the country, the heat islands in our cities can magnify the effect of a heat wave by up to 50%. But what's the solution? Is it just more green spaces within our urban landscapes? Use your magic gizmo. What are we on? 18. 18. 18. So that's, that's so much cooler than what than we the, measure before. The hard guess, surfaces, yes, yeah. Yes. What, if anything, can we do about it? The first is more vegetation. The second is uh, more reflective materials in our buildings. And the third is re reduce uh, air conditioning in the buildings and find alternative ways to cool in them, like, for example, natural ventilation. With more of us living in cities, heat islands are undoubtedly a problem. And unless our urban planning changes, in the future, parts of our cities could become unlivable.